Elizabeth from Paris, thank you so much for joining us on Premier Christian Radio. You've had the US premiere, the UK premiere, you've been jetting across the Atlantic, you've met thousands of fans, loads of journalists. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm on cloud nine, personally. I, I did not expect the premiere in UK to be the way it was. I, I was taken aback, but in the best way possible. And I was stunned. It was just <laughs> an incredible experience. Everyone's been so warm and nice here that I just want to move here. Yeah, we want <laughs> yeah. to. And eat all the chocolates. Were you yeah. living your London dream yesterday? I, I believe so. I You know, I have... Ne I've The last time I was in London was in 96, and this was the first time back, so this is a great start to my my re reintroduction your to London. adult Yes, the adult oh, yeah. London experience. <laughs> so Series 4 deals with a lot of difficult topics. Um, Dallas himself has said it's going to be very dark. What was it like on set, and how did you cope um, when when the cameras stopped rolling? Did you have to, like give each other a big cuddle? Aww. Did you have to go out and listen to some happy music? How did you kind of move yourself out of that yeah. mood? I mean, it was, it, yeah, there were some really emotional and very intense scenes throughout the entire seasons, which, you know, we, we just see like five minutes of a scene, but when we're filming it, it's take after take after take doing the same thing over and over. So it was intense. And mm. I think there, there's such a, our, the cast is so sweet with each other and very sensitive to each other's um, process. And so it was nice to ha know that like our cast can be very vulnerable with each other and go to these very emotional spaces together. Um, so I think we're also really all close and we get the giggles very easily. Yeah. We, we, we find time to, to, be, to have some levity. I what think. she's trying to say is that we're also each other's therapists. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Healthy, healthy. so we have that <laughs> on, on and off camera. So. <laughs> For a viewer, We've been told before to binge the series, but given the topics that come up, should we take this a bit more slow and steady this time? Let ourselves Ooh. ease ourselves into it, given that well, it's going to be an emotional journey. They tell you to binge it because when you watch something for the first time, you're not you're missing stuff. You're just watching it for the just to see what's going to happen, right? So when you rewatch it, which is what will happen after you binge mm -hmm. it, you're going to get so much more out of it, and things that you didn't think spoke to you in the first go around will really make itself known to you personally. So you never know what's going on in your own life that you need to see the message that's in the cho the episode mm -hmm. that you're watching, which is kind of cool because I don't know if many shows have that kind of rewatch value where yeah. you're taking something new each time you watch it. Yeah. Did you find that yourself watching it um, after yeah. the premiere? Was yeah, because I've seen, it, I've seen it now twice. Um, and it's uh, there are different things that are popping out to me. But what's more interesting, I think, for both of us mm -hmm. is that we're not seeing what other people are doing uh, when, when we're, we're filming, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're seeing it all pieced together. We film out of order the entire five months we film the show. Yeah. <laughs> so we're seeing it pieced together. We're seeing like, you know, different characters come to life and it's just fascinating to see that and, and see their work because it's just beautiful. Amazing. Mary and Matthew have one of the most iconic and wholesome friendships on the show. Iconic! What have you Let's learned? Go. <laughs> yeah. What have you learned on screen that you've taken off screen in your friendships? <laughs> oh wow. I think they inform uh, each other constantly. Yeah. I feel like um I'm pretty shy. I don't know how you feel about being shy, but like it it took, I think, working together to to realize like, oh, we're we're going to be friends, you know? <laughs> she didn't want to be my friend. No, I'm just, yeah. I'm so shy with like hanging out with people. Yeah. And so like, I think having that experience on set of like, here's someone I can really yeah. trust. And then our friendship grew <laughs> and then coming back to film more scenes together, like that's just, it just continues to inform each other yeah. uh, up until this season where, I mean, it's just like, just a phrase from you and I'll start crying now. <laughs> You know, it's, there's this level of trust that you develop, and it's such a rare thing when you're working with other artists, because a lot of, a lot, in other stuff, in other projects, there's this thing that actors do where they try to make sure they have the better performance. But with our cast, <laughs> we have this vulnerability and trust in each other that it's so easy to just see each other's hearts. And that's what happens when we work together. And we kind of, our characters live through the same experience in, in terms of um, finding their own self worth, yeah. finding their own voice. And I think, that's how we're so relatable, and that's why the audience really loves us together because we get each other in the show, yeah. and we have that dynamic and that you know that special bond that really um, speaks to the viewer. Amazing, Paris. Talking about Matthew and forgiveness, which mm. I don't want to oh, yeah. give too much away, but it's a key theme throughout the series, given the first two episodes. What does the world need to learn about forgiveness and the gift of forgiveness, as Jesus puts it? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot the world can apply when it comes to forgiveness. Matthew started his apology tour last season, and he had a few more stops to make. Um, and, you know, what I love about this message that we show with forgiveness is that there's no perfect way to give it and, and get it. And 
we're showing all the in between. And whatever you take from that and how we portray that, you'll learn from it and it'll help you uh, grow as a person because it'll tell you that it's okay to lean into the scary things that you don't want to do, but you'll become a better person. And when you when you offer your, the best thing you can do is offer your forgiveness and just leave it to God's hands. Amazing. Elizabeth, I want to talk to you a little bit about Christian films. They haven't had the best reputation in oh. the past, sadly. <laughs> we have been a little bit derided, shall we say. Mm. But last few years, we've had some excellent films come out. We had The Shift, which you starred in. Oh. Are we now seeing Christian films and TV shows competing with Hollywood? That's a, such a wonderful question that yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. I'm capable of answering well. But I, I, I do think that The Chosen is showing that you can tell stories about Jesus or stories about faith mm -hmm. that aren't cheesy, that are realistic. Uh, that are honest um, with good writing and cinematography. It's just the the quality of the show is is you know it stands on its own. You don't have to have a faith background to appreciate it. And I think because of that, there's I think people are opening up and interested and in like oh this is this is not necessarily going to be a bad movie but just because of the topic. Like it's it can be a quality film or TV show as well. So it's nice to see you know, people's minds opening a little yeah. bit about it. Amazing. Paris, on Facebook, you once had to deny that you were 45 years old. Oh, what? yeah. I from, yes. <laughs> what? Those, I did my Those research, data miners out there. I know. So talking of misconceptions, yeah. talking to the chosen skeptics, those who <laughs> haven't watched the show, Sorry. what would you say to them? <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've thrown you with that. Yeah. What would I say to the misconceptioners? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, to those who may be a bit skeptical about the chosen for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh... Well, uh, our show kind of wants people like that. Give us a chance. Get used to different. Uh, and um, I think that's something that we can apply to just the world. Um, stop judging stuff. I've learned through Matthew, don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, really get to know someone. So with our show, get to know us and get to see what we're all about because you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. And one quick final question. How soon is soon? <laughs> Depends it, uh, on the question. Yeah, I'm like looking at my not watch hand, but uh, soon is soon. Soon is soon. You'll know soon. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank yeah, you so I hope much, so Paris too. and Elizabeth. Oh, really thanks, Max. Appreciate it. Great questions. <laughs>